Okay, so we're going through all the levels of shadow, like shadow wrestling. So our first level was stance and motion. Stance and motion. Circle and moving forward, moving back. Never crossing your feet. Always maintaining your stance. Second level, stance and motion. Now I've got level changes. You can be level changing, level changing. I'm always just ready. Level change. Third level, moving around. I got that level change, but now I got pause. I'm trying to touch the head, touch the shoulder, touch the hand, touch the leg, touch, touch, touch. I could be swatting if they're coming at me. Still got my level change. Next one, four, level four. All that stuff, all that stuff. Oh, sprawl. Moving around. Being active. Huh. Sprawl. Level five. Then we add the shot. So I'm in, in, in. Here. Ha. Huh. Knee. Moving around. Sprawl. Oh, I can shoot right off of it. I can shoot off of it. Sprawl. Back up. Level changes. Start mixing it all together. You can shoot the sprawl, sprawl, shoot. You can paw, paw, paw. Back and then shoot. Be creative, okay? Tie it all together. You're gonna do it for one minute by yourself. With shots and sprawls on your own, me not calling anything out. Ready, go. So now, let's look at one thing, Kai Barty Scott. Um, so now, let's just do a move. So first thing that's gonna happen, we're gonna grip up, okay? And Scott's just gonna be a really great partner. And I'm gonna do what we call Kazushi. So I'm gonna do a, um, a footwork. So we're gonna do quarter turns. So like if I was in boxing, okay, I would, uh, I would do a step out, quarter turn. I could go step out, quarter turn. Step out, quarter turn. Step out, quarter turn. Now, so if we're gripped up here, you just be a good ookie. I'm high on the collar, I'm on the elbow. I'm gonna take my rear foot and step out. When I step out right to here, I'm gonna pull down on this collar, I'm gonna punch this elbow, and I'm just gonna turn him, just like that. So, stick, stand clear. So I'm just gonna be like here, pop, one, stop, get right there, that was one quarter. Step, two quarters, three, but I'm not doing this. See this? I'm not doing that, this foot stays. I'm moving this foot, that's the secret. Because everybody thinks they're gonna do this, okay? This foot stays. All it does is pivot. I'm here. Boom. Can you feel how I'm doing it with my body? Okay, pulling down on this one. A little closer to the camera. I'm right underneath his elbow. So I've got this grip. When I pull down on this, you see my hands and my knuckles go like this, and I lift up like I'm holding a pizza. Right, so I'm here, I step. See that? that? Sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, this is just one idea of movement. It's a kazushi, it's off balancing. From that off balance is when I can make a move work, right? I might need two off balances to make a move work, right? But first, we don't want to just stand here and tussle, right? You know what I mean? Because this is just, uh, this is all upper body, right? Mm -hmm. you, get, you get real tired, your hands get real tired fast. I don't use my upper body. Use my lower body. See, because here, bang. Huh? Yeah. And it's right there. But I just, what? Bam! Okay, but first, we're gonna just rep this out nice and slow. Can you do it to me? I think so. Okay, so we'll get our grips. Everybody watch. This foot stays, it pivots. So you're going to step and turn the truck. Now you had, like, my back foot's this way. Yeah, you're gonna, no, you're so gonna step like your back foot over there. Right? And then oh, turn me that way. Gotcha. So here's the step and turn the truck. But, okay? Now don't pull down so hard. Just pull just enough to get him to see that step. You just, all I'm trying to do with my step is get you to step. See, because you see that step? Bam, there's my leg hook takedown, right? Or as I foot sweep, or there's my, I go here like this, double leg. See, it's just one idea to set up 10 moves. Right. See what I'm saying? But we gotta get good 
step, quarter turn. But you see here, you see my foot, it stays. Because I always maintain my stance. Any questions? You guys want to play with this a little bit? One, two, three. First, then we're going to come back to this drill and use circular motion to get good at breaking grips. So, basic grip. Um, he's going to grab my collar, just right here, just stand square. Stand square. Grips my collar right to here. Outside hand's going to get the bottom right here. Three fingers right to there. Hand just like this. Break the grip. Okay? Boom. Down. Or boom across. See, because now, see what I'm saying? Because now I can strip up to the outside. He grabs the other side. Here. That's where the thumb is. Okay? That's what's locking it in. So I gotta take it that way first. Boom. And then across. He grips me on the other side. Here. And you just drill this really good. Okay? Now, the longer you wait, the tighter. Squeeze. Muscle me. Huh. So, we want good responses. The second he touches me, ah, I didn't say you can touch me. I'm just kidding. Right here, here, boom. Once you've dealt with this about a million times, go ahead again, bam. And you'll get good at catching in flight, but we're not doing that yet. You got it, this grip is how you get good at catching in flight. You gotta be very good at just breaking these grips. Now, don't break the grip just with your upper body. Right here, watch. So see how I moved? Do it again. Here, I don't do this. I don't wanna stand in front of you. Because then it'll just grab me on the other side of the Right? Or if we were boxing, you know, he goes to punch me, I do this, now he punches me on the other hand. No, I don't wanna stay in front of him. He grips right to here, I go. Now, see I got my grip. Okay? So let's just go 10 and 10, but move your body on the grip. Move your body on the grip, all right? So he's got collar grip, sleeve grip. I am losing. First thing I'm gonna do, sleeve grip him, and then from here, I'm gonna raise my elbow up, and I'm gonna rip the arm. As Soon as that's ripped, this hand now comes over and addresses this grip. Swat and step, and then I pin it down, and I go in for my grip. Now I'm winning. He raises his elbow, rips it, comes back, swats, boom, re-grips on me. All right, and then this just rotation. And like a second that hits, second this hand's touching, I'm already doing this and gripping this and breaking that and doing this, gripping him. He's already grabbing me, he's bending his el elbow, elbow. Pull it, pull it, bang, break the grip. Boom, he's down. See, and I'm already, Elbow, boom, break, grip, elbow, break, grip. Okay. Now this is just static. As soon as you get good at it, keep going, you can do it without thinking. There you go. Here, you'll start doing it. We'll just start doing it moving around. Okay, so let's give him, give him a grip. Okay, so you're gonna take your thumb like this, you're gonna curl this thing down, and then you're gonna put your thumb over this. Now what I don't want you to do is make a complete fist. I want you to do the knife hand, okay? So I'm just here like this, right? So what I wanna be good at is pulling and relaxing. So first thing that's gonna happen, you'll have your feet crossed, I'm gonna open them up, put my shins right to here, and I'm gonna pull around just like this. Now, I want you to shrimp out to a side, okay? So I'm keeping everything gripped, I'm gonna lift my hips up, I'm gonna kind of walk back and I get out to the side. So I got my hips right here, foot's in the hip, I'm holding this nice and tight, okay? And I'm gonna put my foot right to here, okay? Now, the tension is I'm pushing with my leg as I'm pulling with the sleeve. And this is that push-pull tension that you have to develop because if you don't, your fingers are just gonna be on fire. And my crook of my uh, foot is in his elbow. Feel that? Mm -hmm. See, so I'm here just like this. That's super tight. This hand is super tight to my chest. So our little first one is just the basic bicep sweep, right? So I'm gonna go get the position, 
Now from here, what's gonna make this move work for me is the, is the clicking of my back. So I'm gonna drop this foot onto the floor right to here, and then I'm gonna extend my back. So this hand stays, I extend my back up and over. And I keep that tension right to there. As I push that down, I pull this across, push the face, come up, and we rip the arm bar, okay? So let's do it one more time here, Scott, sit right here, okay? So we're here, feet are crossed, sleeve grip, open up the cabinets, hips in, pulling, wiggle back to the side. This hand immediately attacks as this hand comes right to here, okay? 12 o'clock on the elbow, six o'clock on the elbow. I got tension. Now I'm not using my feet. Watch my back, I extend. I pull this arm and I extend my back. That's where all my power is. From here, once I get that done, I pin that to the mat, capture the other arm, I come up, sit up, push the face, lean, step over, and then we get the arm bar. Okay? And this will be your first little sweep, which is called the bicep. So all the same moves, okay? So I get my grips, I open up the canvas, I bump, I wiggle back, I'm on my side. That is the most important part. I'm pulling, I got push-pull tension, I get to this grip right to here. Once I start pushing this up, pop, see here, I pull this hand in, all right? And as I start to do that, as I start to do that, he might try to bring his arm down. See that? When he does that right to there, cool. Now we got the triangle set up. Now, first, before we go in the triangle, I don't, I don't go to the triangle. He's a big old dude. Here, I go right here, Kimura. Then he straightens his arm. Arm lock. Then he bends it. Oh. Then we go and finish the triangle. He's too big for me, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. So, I'm gonna sweep all the same stuff. I go, whack. Boom. I'm here like this, I'm trying to make it happen. But he catches the ball, see that? And he like buckles down. So what I do, when he buckles down, I bump and I pull, pinch, cross. Just like that. Then from here, push this down. Because a lot of times, he'll start feeling this and he takes it back the other way. Because he knows he's gonna get triangled, right? So when that happens, that, cool. I just, all I do is I grab the wrist, Put the gun in the holster, pull the elbow and go. Right? Right to there. Come on. Straight arm lock. He twists it this way. Then I clear. And I'm up for the charge. Same stuff, same approach, but now we're gonna entangle the arm with the leg, which refers to as lasso or lasso. Alright, so from here I'm gonna punch open. Boom. I'm gonna wiggle back. Now the key to this is I wiggle back. <laughs> I gotta get on my side, I, and I'm stretching my legs, especially this bottom one, because see, I, see my stretch and my pull? So, I'm gonna take my leg, instead of bringing my foot on the inside, here, I'm stretching that arm, I'm gonna take my leg on the outside, and I'm gonna go over and stretch it all the way through, okay? Now, for now, I've got him. I gotta keep his hand and my my hand up by my belt, kind of like red horse motion or chambered hand. Okay. So now from here, see I'm still on my side. This leg is straight. My toes are trying to touch his spine. See I got you with my leg. Now watch this. Stay right there. Don't do anything. <laughs> That's how strong it is. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay. So I want you just to do that. Open them up, boom, get to your side, stretch and hold, lasso, leg hook. Now you see how I'm on my side right now? Oh, I want you to see how my butt's sticking out that way. Use this foot on the head and just push them over just so you can see how powerful it is. Okay, now you see here, so you still got the lasso. Once I get here, right into an arm bar. Okay, that'll be our first one. Like this, my little spider, baby spider. 
I hip out and I stretch. See that stretch and pull? I'm pulling both of the hands to my belt knot. Get this lasso in there, boom. See right there? I see my shin on your belly? Yeah. Here, so now from here, I'm keeping that right there. I can either drop that hook. Now he's a big boy. But the cool thing is, is if I'm gonna pull you forward, <laughs> and I'm using my leg. If I don't wanna pull you forward, that's fine. I can just stay right here and just do a kick out. Boom, he's gone, bop, see I let go? I let go, I'm up. Turn, rip the arm bar, pop, okay? It's super easy, and you would discover it. That's what's so cool about it. A lot of this stuff is super intuitive, okay? So, we'll be playing, get this, pop. Right to here, pop, pull, and kick. Now, I can just come up if I want. It's fun. See, I still held on to it. And then I'll just go. Yeah. Try to pull your arm out. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. I'll let it go. <laughs> just to be nice and quiet. Okay, so quick one, quick scissor sweep. Okay, one, two, three. So, I'm here, boom, lasso position. I've already swept him this way a couple times. See, I'm trying to sweep him, and he posts this foot. So he posts the opposite foot. So what I gotta do is I gotta take this foot, and I'm gonna use this foot right here. I gotta take this foot and that hook. So I'm gonna kind of bump it. See how I move myself there? Hook at the knee, hook at the ankle. Pull, kick, and lift. Okay, now from here, if I wanna come up, I can come up side control, or I can come up on the arm bar. If he's a big boy, like he is, I come up inside control because I want to make sure he doesn't get up and get on top of me again. Okay, so one more time. Here, he posts that leg. I use this foot to bump so I can clear this foot in, behind the knee, bottom of the hook, or bottom of the ankle. Some people say, we'll just do it like this. That's a big old dude. That's why I use both feet. Pull the knees to your face. See that? Then kick. Come up. Wrist lock. And then clear. Cool? Let's do that one. All right, wait a second. Watch this. As he comes around, and let's just say he hugs my head. Now, you'll notice my hamstring is on your bicep. You feel that? Or in the inner elbow? Okay? And my shoulder's up. When he starts to push my shoulder down, you'll see this knee come up, okay? Because that's a driving leg. Then you're gonna see this leg go straight and my foot turn to the side. And then I just go, boop. So I'm literally like straight like this. See that extension? And then I just kick over. And this is a wonderful move. Puts him right on top of his shoulder and he just bumps over. Yeah. You want to feel it? Come on in. I'll do it to you. <laughs> so, give me this arm. Because I only need one. Oh, you have a nice, good, soft knee, too. <laughs> okay. Stay not here. So I just kind of right to there. Yeah. Okay? Before you get me fully in, I might even just be here like this. See how you can't use it? Now, you're gonna think you're clever by grabbing my wrist. Right. That's fine. I've dealt with this. I can deal with it. But see how I'm already past your leg? Yeah. See, because like, see, hook, hook my leg? See, right there, that's one thing to deal with. What do you see, go back? I caught it here. Yeah. Man, you don't have shit on me now. Right. Because now all I do is put my belly on you, see, I start turning. I keep holding my wrist. Because you think you're going to get me. Because if I keep circling to your head, if I keep circling, let me, let me, let me. Oh, okay. I keep circling. Now from here, drive that down. Boom. See right through there? And then that's a sweep. Okay. See, but I'm not dumb. Because I go here like this. Oh. Kill it. And I go. Yeah. <laughs> Done all that before. Gotcha. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I'm back for a second. We'll talk for a minute. Okay. Okay. I call this the, um the hook pass, because it's like just throwing a hook. 
So if my hands are even just up right here like this, mm -hmm. okay, and he's shot one thing back, stop. All I do is take this hand and I punch through the hole. And as I do it, I just back step. And then come and push him onto the side. You see I'm always doing this. Feel that? Yeah. Okay. So I always practice. That's why um, in butterfly guard, I'll never let a butterfly player stay sitting, sit, seating like this. You want that. Right. Right? I don't want you to be here. I want you flat on your back. I want you pinned. Right? So I literally, no, no, no. I can, or I'll double bicep you, and I'm just smushing down, and I'll hold you, and I'll say, and I'll just wait. Wait to the shotgun, because that's the only way he's going to be able to do anything cool to me. So I just time it. When you shotgun here, see? See my hand? Even if he's holding my elbow, it's fine. I go right here. And I just back step. Okay? So that's a really good one too. Cool.